Now, Chandrababu Naidu had said he would build the new capital of Andhra Pradesh into a Singapore or at least another Hyderabad. But he's now discovering that neither land nor money is available for the ambitious project. Experts have instead recommended a decentralized capital development model. I have developed Hyderabad in such a way, nobody can deny it. Chandrababu Naidu has always boasted about how he built Hyderabad. But Naidu will not be able to replicate the Hyderabad dream in bifurcated Andhra Pradesh. The expert committee interested with the search for a new capital city has recommended against building a single super city and says there should instead be decentralized development in multiple locations. It is not necessary to concentrate all government offices in the same place. We are talking about a statewide development plan with 13 to 14 locations in different parts of the state and at least three or four big cities, big opportunities for expansion including Vaisag and Tirupati and Rayalaseema and Middle Andhra. The Chandrababu Naidu government had almost finalized the Vijayawada Guntu region to build the new capital. With contiguous land not available and prices escalating, land acquisition will be prohibitively expensive. Let there be a contiguous piece of at least 30,000 acres. You know, people, Chandrababu Naidu spoke about Singapore all the while. Singapore itself is 750 square kilometers. Hmm. I mean, Hyderabad today is 960 square kilometers. At least 144 square kilometers is what we are asking. There are 192 government offices of Andhra Pradesh in Hyderabad which need to be shifted out. With virtually every government building in Hyderabad under dispute between Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, many feel earlier they move out, the better. In Hyderabad with camera person Nagraju Umasudhir, NDTV.